So whether you're someone who struggles with fats and thins, heels and toe strikes, I want to discuss with you today a really crucial and really fundamental ball striking concept in order to help you strike those irons much more consistently, much more repeatably. And at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you a really cool drill in order to help you do that more. So a couple of really key examples as to where this would break down would be a backswing which looks a little bit like this or a backswing that looks a little bit like so. Now, each can influence different issues, but essentially this is a breakdown of this really key ball striking concept which we need to make sure we get right. And what that is, is your ability to maintain your body's three key centers. Now, where those centers are, are the center of the pelvis, the center of the sternum, and the center of the head. Essentially, in those two scenarios, you can see how one or multiple of those centers have broken down, and for us to strike the golf ball in an efficient way, we would need some kind of compensation movement on the way down in order to match those things up. So today is all about our ability to keep those centers in line during the golf swing, especially at setup and on the way back. And that will make us much more repeatable and much more consistent golfer when it comes to our ball striking going forwards. Now, before we discuss the swing and a really good drill that we can use to maintain our centers much better, we want to make sure that we're supporting our move and our movement patterns in general by a really quality setup. So when we're setting up, referring to an iron here, we want to ensure that our width of stance is somewhat shoulder width apart. And after we take our stance, the way we want to address the ball is by going knee flex first, bending at the hip second. This allows us to maintain and create a much healthier posture, which much better balance left and right, back and forwards, so that we can move in a much healthier way. Once we've taken our stance and our posture, if you let our, our arms hang in a way where, after I grip the golf club, the outside of my thumb is on the outside of my shoulder head, that is now a really solid setup that we can use to move in the swing. So with the stance, knees then, body or hips, so we can get the posture and then let the arms hang in a way where they're sitting, where the thumbs are sitting just outside the shoulder head from there. So now that we've discussed our setup, Let's talk about that drill, which I really like to use when it comes to our ability to maintain much better centers so we can move much more efficiently, much more repeatably, and see much more effective ball strike from there. So you don't need a club to do this, although you can do it with a golf club as you get used to this. You just need a flat surface, just a wall, and something like a foam roller, a Swiss ball, or I've just got a normal foam ball here, something which can roll. So I'm going to do this without a golf club, so I'm just going to get my normal golf posture, I'm going to put my hands across my shoulders, and I'm just going to rest this ball just underneath the belt line. And my task now is to use my pivot, my hip rotation, to roll this ball up the wall towards the camera there. And that's gonna allow me to maintain these three centers in a much healthier fashion. Now, two ways to not do this drill, and this is a two of the common faults which I see when people struggle to keep their centers because they lack rotation, is someone who re-sways off the golf ball with the head, so they re-over-rotate the body in order to cheat this, or especially your early extenders of the world who will roll that ball by doing this. So if I was to do this from this angle here, rolling that ball by doing that wouldn't quite be it. I'd be losing my centre that way. I'd want to roll the hips so that I can roll that ball and pivot in the correct way. So if I had a golf club, that's how I'd want the swing to look. So it's a really surefire way which Encourages rotation, which is how the swing wants to move in general. Those centers essentially make up the axis. I want to rotate back and through on the axis. That's how the swing wants to move conceptually in general. And this ball here helps you to re-maintain your ability to do that and keeping those centers in check from there. So a drill that I really like to use with players and something that you can always refer back to on or off the driving range. So now that you spend a little bit of time doing that, grab yourself a golf club. And before we hit a couple of golf balls, just aim at that feeling. What is it like to roll that ball up against that wall so that I can maintain my swing centers and not have them moving anywhere throughout the swing? Just keep them nice and constant relative to setup so I've got a much better chance of hitting the golf ball much more consistently. And then we can drop a golf ball down and start feeling some 75 to 80% shots with that feeling, especially on the backswing. And then hit going from.
Hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, drop me a comment on the comment section down below or follow me on socials for more content from there. For online coaching, drop me a follow on the Skillist app, search David Atkins and you can ask me anything like on the messaging tab from there. But until next time, catch you on the next one. Yeah, yeah. Cash rules all around me.